Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your man Rico. I'm on the road here. I'm uh, in the M Town, Memphis, for the weekend to wish my mother a happy birthday. Uh, you know, almost in uh, Texarkana. I know I'm listening to these blues on iHeartRadio because I am straight out of Memphis here. But I just wanted to run something by you. It's about like this reparations conversation. <sighs> um, look. It's interesting how everybody, now reparations is on everybody's uh, notepad and it's part of everyone's agenda. And I just want to remind everybody, this is not a new conversation. And for those who are still aggravated by the conversation, white, black, especially black folks, yeah, there's black folks who get aggravated by the conversation about reparations. It's the weirdest shit. Because you never heard Jews complain about too many conversations about reparations. You never had Jews and Asians and Native Americans say, you know what, we don't need no reparations. Or, uh, or talk about, you know, we need to pull us up up by the bootstraps. Never heard them say any of that. And so it's the weirdest thing to hear black people, uh, and, and it's this group of blacks who, who who've who got a chance to go to college or they opened up a business and they're making a little money. Those are the ones who are saying it. Then you have this other group. They're like, they, they try to be naysayers because they really don't want their feelings hurt. And so they'll say, we ain't gonna never get reparations. Because, you know, they really want it, but they're afraid to put themselves out there to be a part of that conversation. And finally, on the reparations, you know, Dr. Claude Anderson, Dr. Amos Wilson, you know, the scholars, as well as um, in Cobra, the organization in Cobra, have been talking about reparations for decades. And they're very, very specific about it. Monetary repairment, just like they did everybody else. What is this remixing of the reparations agenda? You see, when they paid Jews money, nobody had a problem with it. When they gave Native Americans money, no one had a problem. When they gave Asians uh, $20,000 per household during you know, World War II, when they put the Japanese in those concentration, those concentration camps, they gave them money. So how come when it comes to black folks, well, why does reparations have to be about a check? People, don't be stupid all your life. Cut the check. And all this idols and battles has already been decided who, who, was, who were owed reparations. The folks who were brought over here who did work for free for 400 years. They weren't Asians, they weren't Jews, they weren't Native Americans. In the last 400 years, there were black folks, black folks of African descent or descendants of African slaves who were brought over. And for those of you who say, I wasn't born in no Africa, that's fine. I just need you to shut the fuck up in the conversation. If you don't want it, just move on. Why you got to talk so much? Because you say you don't want it. Shut the fuck up. And if you if you have any politician that's coming your way, the very very first question you should ask, what about reparations? And and allow them to say yes or no. Don't let them fiddle battle over the question. Beto O'Rourke. Uh, well, you know the the Jewish what well, called the uh, uh the Jewish White Hope. Bernie Sanders that black folks are all in love with, that Jewish white man said no. And then you got Elizabeth Warren trying to put the Native Americans in it. Then you got that Alicia Ocasek, whatever that little crazy Latina's name is. No, now she's trying to add everybody. Don't let these people muddy down and water down what reparations are about. We know good and well, just like Jews knew, Asians knew, and Native American knew what reparations were. And again, I want to mention Dr. Claude Anderson and the Cobra. These folks have already mentioned it. And if you're having a conversation with someone who's supposed to be in leadership about reparations, and they can't tell you if they had a conversation with Dr. Claude Anderson, you immediately stop talking to them. Don't give them any votes, don't give them any support, because time out. Time's up. Reparations or nothing. That's what's up. Oh yeah, let me say, P.S. For you motherfuckers, and I don't like to cuss too hard, but to you motherfuckers, whites, black, or whatever, 
to make this statement. Y'all sitting around waiting on reparations. No one's sitting around, you son of a bitch. People are working, going to college, creating businesses, and all of it, just like everyone one else in this country. Black folks are doing it. So how dare you, you condescending son of a bitch, sitting around waiting on reparations. No one's sitting around waiting on reparations. What we do is we're standing around and we're standing up for reparations. If you don't think we deserve it and you black, shut the fuck up and move on. Why do you have to be such a hater? Fucking Steven from Django, you dumb Sambo, shut the fuck up. Hell, these people get on my fucking nerves. That's why I don't have that conversation with, um, have that conversation about reparations unless it's with a like-minded person. Other than that, I don't want to have the conversation. If you don't say yes, we deserve it, fuck all that other remixing. I don't want to talk to you, and that is the truth. We're not having no, there's no debate for me. So if you have not had a conversation, or if you not heard, have not um, looked up what Dr. Claude Anderson is talking about, he has he has the right idea. He has the idea. Or the group in Cobra. Go look it up. Google in Cobra. They were on the front line demanding reparations. We all know what it's about. So don't let these democratic, these liberal sons of bitches talk you out of what we're due. And yes, cut the check like you did everybody else y'all enjoy your day as i enjoy my ride to wish my mom a happy birthday this weekend peace